Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble home, my casa, my hacienda on the windy hills of Livingston, Montana. Okay, let me blow my image up here a little bit, even though it's not going to make me any better looking. I didn't even know I could do that until this morning. <laughs> you know, well, whatever here. But let me get this browser out of your face. And Okay, right off the get-go here. This this video here is in light of what happened last week in Paradise Valley near Livingston, Montana. We had a local man, a young man that got killed by a grizzly bear, mauled and killed. Okay, right up the get go, his name is Craig, C R A I G, Craig Clowatree, Clowatrer. I have a little bit of difficulty with his last name, C L O U A T R E. And he left behind a wife and four kids, and they do have a, a GoFundMe account, which I'll put in the description of this video. But what I'm going to do here is I thought it would be interesting for some of you folks that like to hike and come up here to Montana to show you areas of, of Paradise Valley, just Paradise Valley, different creeks and, and drainages and uh feeding areas and stuff like that, that I know that people have either been attacked by grizzly bears or it's perfect grizzly bear habit, habitat and stuff like that. You know, if you understand what I'm trying to say here, I'm not, I'm not trying to say, look, if you go to such and such creek and go up there, you're going to get attacked. Because the problem is with grizzly bears, you never know where they're at. They pretty much go where they want, okay? I'm just make that real clear. Okay, let me shrink my image down here. I've got just seven places I'm going to try to show you on Google Earth if I can. Okay, let me fire up this application here. Let's get things centered over here a little bit better. Okay, that's Livingston, Montana. Let me blow myself up a little bit here. Not that, like I say, it's not going to make me look any better, but, you know. Okay. All right. Here's Livingston, Montana, where I live, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Look down here, this is north and that's south, and we're going to be going south into Paradise Valley, okay? The first place that I know of that's had grizzly bear action in it, or people have gotten pinned down or harassed or whatever you call it, is a place called Seuss Creek, which is very near Livingston, Montana. Watch. Seuss Creek right here. Seuss Creek Trailhead Road. We'll do that. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, not very far from Livingston at all, if you if you were watching that, okay? And going up that road is the trailhead, but I <laughs> I got to kind of let this thing stop spinning. Yeah, let me hit this. And, okay, let's just, just go up here for just a second. I'm pretty sure I got the... Okay, right there. This is the trailhead, okay? And here a few years back, well, it's actually been about 12, 13, 14 years ago, right up on this hillside, back up in here somewhere, three high school girls here in Livingston, Montana, from Park County High School, got pinned down by a grizzly bear. They got pinned down for two and a half hours, and they were, you know, they were able to get out of that mess because they played dead, like I talked about in one of my other videos, Okay. So there's Seuss Creek, this area right in here, and going up towards Livingston Peak, up and in this area, this is active, okay? Let me go right back down in here into Paradise Valley. And by the way, this road that I keep screwing up, that let me go down here, this East River Road right here, this is East River Road, but it's 540 U.S. 540. Most of us locals here don't ever call it that. We just call it the East River Road. But this East, East River Road leads up into a lot of grizzly bear country. And then on the other side, the other side of Paradise Valley, in other words, the west side, you've got the Gallatin Mountains. And those dot Gallatin Mountains got grizzly bears in them too, not just the Absorkies. I want to make sure I make that perfectly clear. Okay, now we're going to go up on Dry Creek. That's over on the other side, on the on the Gallatin Mountain side. Okay. Problem is with doing all this stuff, there's lots of dry cricks in Montana. There's lots of blah, blah cricks. And, you know, you got to be kind of careful with this search or you'll be all over the map, so to speak. Dry crick. 
Okay. Dry Creek Trailhead. I know doggone well. Yeah, it's 132, if you can see that. As, uh, if you go highlighting anything else, you're not going to get to Dry Creek. Okay, Dry Creek's right there. This whole range in here. Can let me roll up on this a little bit. This whole range in this country can be grizzly bear habitat up on Dry Creek. You got the North Fork of Dry Creek and the South Fork of Dry Creek. But there's a little bit of backpacking in here on this trail, so that's why I want to bring this to your attention. You don't want to get mauled by grizzly bear, and that's the whole point here. I'm just showing you areas that are active or ha attacks have occurred in the past and what not have you. Okay, well, let me, okay, this is Dry Creek. I know I've been hunting up in here. I've, but we'll go on down here. Let me roll out of here. That's going, we're looking back down towards Paradise Valley. But th these, these bald hills right here, don't kid yourself. The places like this, these grizzly bears will come out because they're looking for feed. You know, whether it be, you know, Grizzly bears are omnivorous, omnivorous. I think I got that right there. They're, they, they're meat eaters and vegetarians, you know. And so I just wanted to point out this, this kind of country here, and it leads into timber, but these grizzly bears are not afraid at all to come out in the open. That's what I'm saying in feet. They pretty much go wherever they want to, and they also like areas like this that have a lot of rocks in them. Why? Because there's caves, and they can climb in there and make a winter's den. Okay, so there's that. What you were looking at was in the Gallant Mounds. Now we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to move along here. I got notes right here. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm going to go to a place up Mill Creek called Passage Falls. And the reason why I'm going up there is because it's a pretty good view. And I can't get there by just typing in Mill Creek. We got too many Mill Creeks in Montana. So. Passage, Passage Falls, yeah, right here, Passage Falls, or Passage Creek Falls Trailhead, Livingston, Montana, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's up a place called Mill Creek. Now watch, watch, watch. Okay, there's just remember Mill Creek. That's Mill Creek. I. I don't want to get too spastic about Mill Creek because it, there's a lot of people that go up Mill Creek, okay? But this time of the year, a lot of the gates and stuff are closed. You know, you, you, the, the access is very limited in there, and you're probably wondering why. Well, I'll tell you why, because of calving elk. But and Wicked Creek, yeah, I know where that's at. So let me give you a 360 degree of this Mill Creek area and Passage Falls and all that stuff. It, a lot of backpacking around here. That's why I'm, you know, but there is quite a, there's a few people that live up Mill Creek and it does see quite a, quite a, quite a bit of, of traffic up there. So, you know, Mill Creek is one of them places that I don't want to harp about too awful much. I, there's grizzly bear activity up there, but I think the grizzly bear activity is a little bit more strong in other areas. That I'm trying to show you here, you know. Anyway, this is what this country looks like back in here, and I've been all through this Mill Creek area. So while that's spinning around, we've got Seuss Creek, we've got Dry Creek, we've got Mill Creek. Now we're going to go to a place called Daly Lake. Okay, let me check my time here to make sure. Okay, let me go up here and and find Daly Lake, Montana. That's very near where that guy Lost his life here last week. I know that country back in there. I got a nice elk there one year back over in this Daily Lake. Daily Lake, Montana. Okay, watch, watch, watch. It's in Paradise Valley. Here we go. Right there. Believe it or not, that's the only lake that we have in Paradise Valley, except for the high mountain aspen lakes, okay? But that that's just a little tiny lake, but it's right in the middle of the pathway that the elk use to move out of the park. And that's one of the reasons why that fellow lost his life, because him and a buddy of his was up up in this country, and they were horn hunting. And it's hard to say, because he was alone when he got attacked, so I'd want to get into it with all due respect for the family, okay? 
But right in here, here's Daly Lake. But this area right here is a, is a migration route for the elk. And see what it's going to do is it's, it goes back in here to a place called, well, there's Immigrant Peak, but let me get back down here to Daly Lake again. Uh, sorry about that. I lost. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sheep Creek. But back up in here is six mile. There's Sheep Creek. But this area right in here, what I'm trying to tell you, this is all this is all grizzly bear habitat. And the only places that are near around this area over here, Daly Lake and that, is Chico Hot Springs and Prey and places like that. Not it's kind of remote country, okay? Let me three D this and so you got Daly Lake and the area that's, I kind of lost it there for a minute, but the area that's in back of Daly Lake, all of this, all of this stuff right in here, this is all grizzly bear country, all up in the, you know, the six mile creek is in here where that guy lost his life. Uh, let me hit this again. Bring me back around to Daly Lake. I was off there just a little bit. Okay, there's Daly Lake. But what I was wanting to show you is this this area back over here. I know where it's at, but <laughs> if I'd stop screwing around, I could get in there. Yeah, right there, Six Mile Creek. This place is right dead to the to the east, if you will. Is that right? Yeah, to the east of Daly Lake. This to the east and to the south. This this Six Mile. This, let me. Let me do a little spin here. But this country here, it's active with grizzly bears. Okay. Okay. I'll let that spin around there. And then we got Big Creek, Montana. There's lots of places. These grizzly bears, they just don't stay in one spot. I want to make sure that I... Okay. Make sure I pound that thing home, you know. It's, okay, I'm not telling you, oh, yeah, go to Daly Lake and you're going to run into grizzly bear. No, that place is real. People like to uh, wind surf there, you know, them wind kites and all that kind of stuff. It gets quite a few people in there from time to time. And it, it sets down on almost on the valley floor. But that's a good place to just remember because the mountains to the east and bright and back, but that's grizzly bear country. Okay, let me see what we got going up here on Big Creek. Big Creek Road, Immigrant, Montana. That's about as close as we're going to get. Let me show you. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, there's Big Creek. Now we're over here. This country here is is in the Gallant Mountains, okay? And there's a lot of good fishing up here. I've recorded up on this creek lots of times. But anyway, let me roll up here just a little bit and give you a good look at this country. But yeah, this country here and on these side hills and all these grazing places can contain grizzly bears, okay? And watch, watch what this country looks like. Like I say, Big Creek is four or five miles out of Immigrant, and it's on the west side of of US 89 and and like that. You know, it's on the west side, not where the East River Road's at. So, okay. And the last place I'm going to show you, that's Big Creek. Real easy to get to there. Signs, of, well, there's not signs all over the place, but I just wanted to show you this kind of country that these grizzly bears, you know, like if you come up on these hills, I've, I've hiked up in here and hunted and everything. These grizzly bears, you see all these weird little trails in here? Those, a lot of those trails, believe it or not, are animal trails right in here. But these grizzly bears will come right out in the open and feed. That's my point. They're not, a, they just don't stay up in the peaks, you know, way up high and in the timber and all that. Like I say, they pretty much go where they want to. And it's not really that surprising to have one wander down into Paradise Valley once in a while either. Okay, just thought I'd get that off my air. The last place we're going to look at is Tom Minor Basin. Okay. 
Tom Minor Base in Montana. Yeah, it help if I put the state on there. <laughs> okay. There we go. See, we weren't too far from that with the way that flew. But this Tom Minor Basin, for where you turn off there on US 89, go back in there. It's like 15 miles and a lot of it's private property, thank God. You know, because this is some country in here that, well, it's 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 pretty wild back in here. It just goes way back up in here. I'm not kidding you. Let me let me 3D this, but just remember that Tom Minor Basin. And there's a lot of people who live, well, maybe not way back in there, but there, there's a great big rancher or somebody that's got a big land concern that owns a lot of a lot of that land along Tom Minor Basin. So. Let me 360 degree this for you. But you can see how this country's not heavily wooded and heavily peaked and all that. But nonetheless, the grizzly bears are up in here. It's just as simple as that. That's that's kind of the point to this video here. Is that I'm not telling you that grizzly bears are going to spring out of everywhere or they're behind every rock or tree or anything. The problem is you just never know where they're at. That's the problem. You know. You know, when you're when you're in their country, you're in their living room. Those bears are not in your living room. So there you are. But anyway, this Tom Miner Basin goes way back in here. I am not kidding you. And okay, there's the river right there, but we're gonna crawl up here for just the very last part of this video, because this it really does go quite a ways back here. And then you start getting in these mountains and all that, and here's Tom Miner Creek. See what I'm talking about here? So, let me 3D this. Tom Miner Creek. So, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Seuss Creek, the Dry Creeks, North and South, Mill Creek, Daly Lake, Six Mile Creek, Big Creek, and Tom Miner Basin. These are all places I know people have either gotten attacked by grizzly bears or it's perfect grizzly bear habitat and like that. So if you come up here to Paradise Valley and you want to go hiking, you've been warned. And I say that with all the humility in the world because getting mauled to death by a grizzly bear is nothing fun. There's nothing fun about it. It's horrific. And in fact, I don't even want to describe it, but I know what the scene would look like. I do. I'm a native of this state. I was born in Kalispell, Montana in 1951. Know what I'm talking about. I do believe. Okay, let me get this out of your hair. And what else can I do here? Oh, if you want to sign up for my channel, I'd be fine. What do they call it? Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me the finger. Love me. Hate me. Rate me. Ring the bell. Do what my custom thumb, thumbnail tells you to do. I'm just kidding, you know. And also... Remember to try to donate to these folks if you can. I'm going to leave a GoFundMe a link in, in the description of this video. The family would sure appreciate it because, you know, like I say, that Craig fellow lost his life due to a grizzly bear attack. Okay, let me get out of here and get gone. Okay, let me see that. Let me see if I can get gone this way. Nope, can't. I'll go down here to my browser and cut it off from there. Adios, my friends.